Good evening, everyone. Oh, it's evening or it's afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome to Weekdays with Chicha Beauty. Today, we are going to get your skin to look younger and fresher and also brighter. We're going to talk about one of my favorite topics today, and that is collagen. Yes. Why do we talk so much about collagen? We talk about collagen because it is what gives the skin the firmness, the tightness. It is what keeps your skin looking younger for longer. And everyone is going to experience loss of collagen at some stage of their life. This, however, tend to occur when we started to age. As you start to age, when you get into your, your, well, it started at a very early age, but you start to notice it when you get a little older. By the time you touch your 30s upwards, you're gonna notice loss of collagen. Loss of collagen always come by by first sign of wrinkles and fine lines you're starting to notice that your parentheses get a little deeper you notice a little sagging going on on the skin and one thing that i personally like to look at is that you notice right here at the crow's feet you start to see all those little lines going on like this and that is loss of collagen now there are many things that you can do to boost the collagen production in the skin you can choose to do it topically or you can choose to do it internally today we're going to share some natural ways of boosting the collagen production in the skin and basically we're just going to dive into just talking about collagen now i did not get a chance to send out notification today and that is why we're waiting to see who's gonna come on i don't know if you're experiencing any issues with google today but i am having some serious issues going on on my computer i came on i look everything was clean on my um my laptop and everything i was signed out of don't know what is happening couldn't get into anything. So hear me running around searching for password to get into my regular um, app that I normally use. So I hope that you're all not having that issue, but something is definitely going on. But here we are, and hopefully people will see that we're having a live show and they will come on. But definitely there was no notification. Hi, Amina. Hi, Claudia. Hi, Jill. Jason is also here. Welcome to the live. We have Angela Whitson. I think maybe this is your first time joining our live show. Welcome. Lorna is here also. And I see some people is just getting that notification. So it's all about collagen today. Boots in the collagen in your skin, topically on the skin. So the first question that we're going to ask while people get the notification is, uh, look at that. I just touched something and something else is going on on um i'm telling you guys i'm kind of getting a little bit um fed up of this constant 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 upgrading of the system as soon as you get one thing on the wrap then something else come up. You got to learn to do something else. But anyway, if you're in the business, you got to learn how to work as fast as they're creating and as fast as they're moving, you know, um, when it comes on to the internet world. You can't get left behind. So brush up, brush up, brush up. Now let's ask you all, how many of you have been, you know, adding any form of a collagen supplement to your regular daily food intake? Or how many of you are now using collagen boots and products on your skin? If you are diving into collagen and are now aware of collagen and what it is, and you're you know, looking forward to getting back your skin to have that firmness, when you take a look at your skin, okay? Mine is a little shine, shiny today. It's a little warm today. Now, when you take a look at your skin, when you touch your skin like this, it should be bouncing back right at you you should feel some form of a firmness on your skin and anywhere on your skin you should feel some form of a firmness now when you started to age all of this is going downhill because when you touch your skin it's not feeling as tight as it should now be, be reminded that when it comes on to to muscles and all of that when you have you know really good muscle you get that tightness and collagen is basically similar to that when you touch your skin like this if the fat is so soft and mine is feeling a little soft right now i need to start to work back on this collagen boots in um 
creams and portion on my skin but your skin should bounce back that is when your skin is in good shape but when you touch it and it is really really soft don't get me wrong now we want our skin to be touchable but we don't want it to be too soft too soft mean that you need to rub up on that protein okay so collagen works like that on the skin when the collagen is you know decreasing you starting to feel your skin feeling really really soft and you started to see wrinkles and fine lines all over the skin little at a time most people notice wrinkles and fine lines around the mouth area here personally for me when i watch people and you could see it I can also look at you and tell you some people, like if you have not got any form of a job done on your skin. And when we talk about job, we're talking about getting a professional facial lift or using um, collagen, you know, fillers to fill the, the cheekbones and all of that. I have a favorite actress that I normally watch. And the other day I was watching an interview with her and I was just looking and I was, I'm not going to say I'm annoyed. I'm not going to say I am annoyed. We are the same age group. And I was looking at her. I'm not going to say the name, but I was looking at her and she got fillers or probably Botox, something going on. She got some form of a Botox. And I just did not like the way that she looked. And that is the truth. Because the Botox was just so obvious. Like, her face was looking like this. And then, when I look at her neck, under here, because, yeah, she have a little weight on, but under here, I have a little dropping like this. And then the Botox is looking like this, and I just didn't like it. I did not like it at all. Now, I am thinking that to each his own, yes, if you want to go and do some Botox, go ahead and do what makes you happy. But when you do Botox, it should look natural, right? Because you're doing it to enhance yourself. You're doing it to look younger. And then they were filming her from the side, and you could clearly see it's probably a facelift with some Botox. So this is the way that when she turned the side of the face, this is how it was looking. I'm going to try to pull mine up. It was looking something like that, like really stiff like you could see like they just draw a pencil on it and grab it and hold it like that i did not like that same age group we're the same age group so what we're saying is people now are not wasting to boost the collagen naturally or even using product people are going out and they are using the fillers they're using the facelift they're using the 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 the, the botox to get their skin to look younger but you can sit at home and you can comfortable try to do that at home like i am doing okay what i do i try to boost that collagen production in my skin and there's a wide variety of natural ingredients that you can use to boost that collagen production so let's start with number one the very first thing you need to do to boost the collagen production i'm gonna get this out of the way is to make sure that your skin is clean how does clean skin have anything to do with boots and collagen production it have everything to do with it because whatever natural ingredient that i'm going to share with you you need to apply it to clean skin to see best result any beauty product that you're going to apply on your skin, you, your skin need to be clean. So golden, no collagen people with wrinkles plus their daily habits. Now, um, who else is here? Help us with muscles. Okay, we'll get to that. And um, if you have a comment and you're just joining, welcome to our live show, Beauty Queen. Good afternoon. Welcome to our live show. Today, it's all about getting your face, your skin on a whole to look younger and fresher, firmer, tighter, and also to help you to get a natural glow to the skin. We're going to share some natural collagen boots and ingredients that you can use in the comfort of your home to boost the collagen production in the skin to get your skin to look younger and fresher. So we're going to start with number one. Number one natural ingredient that you can use to boost the collagen production in your skin is papaya. 
And how are you going to use papaya to boost the collagen production in the skin? You're going to use the papaya because the papaya is rich in antioxidant, is rich in collagen boots and properties. Collagen boots and properties such as vitamin A. And vitamin A is a natural antioxidant for your skin. Vitamin A have to reduce the wrinkles and fine lines on the skin. It have to lift, tighten, and firm the skin, and it can have to transform your skin. Now you can find natural vitamin A in the papaya. When you use the papaya on the skin, you leave it on your skin for at least 30 minutes, or if you use it to make a facial mask or a facial moisturizer or a facial serum, you leave it overnight. It is one of my my favorite natural ingredient to use on the skin and the reason for that is that not only does the papaya reduce wrinkles and fine lines and boost the collagen production but it also have to clear hyperpigmentation from the skin it is rich in vitamin C also and vitamin C is another very 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 popular antioxidant that have not only the clear pigmentation but it also have to boost the collagen production in the skin Skin. Now, when you use papaya on the skin, you can use it directly on the skin. Now, we're talking about the ripe papaya. The green papaya have several other benefits, um, not only to the skin, but also to your gut health. But we won't dive into that today since we're talking mainly about collagen um, topically on the skin. So you can use the fresh papaya on your skin. You can use it to make a facial mask. You can use it to make a facial moisturizer. I made a facial moisturizer out of the papaya flesh the other day and I love it so much. Guess what guys, if you saw if you watch that video, that papaya facial moisturizer, you can use it on your skin at night. They also have, uh, you can also use try the papaya facial serum. I personally have the papaya facial scrub, the papaya facial moisturizer, the papaya serum, and I also think I have a papaya facial toner on my channel page that you can actually try. They also have the papaya oil, the papaya seed oil, which is another amazing product that you can use on the skin. These are natural sources, natural ingredients that you can use on your skin to boost the collagen production on the skin. Now, how do you use the papaya on the skin? You use the papaya on the skin daily. If you're using it as a facial mask, you use it two to three times per week. A facial scrub, you can use daily. The facial serum every day, the facial ma um, moisturizer every day, and the facial oil, you can use it every day on the skin so do not shy away from using the papaya to boost the collagen production in the skin if you're using a papaya facial serum on your skin all you need is one to two drops on your skin the facial moisturizer is the same thing and I suggest anything that you're applying on your skin especially if you're using the boots collagen on the skin make sure when you apply it on your skin you also massage the skin and that is actually another tip. That is the second tip that I want to share with you. Boots and collagen on your skin can be done pretty, pretty easy with any beauty product that you are using once you massage your skin with the product. So if you have, and I clean my decks off, guys, you probably would be proud of me. Normally, I have a wide variety of products on my decks, like my kiwi oil that's always like just pour out and me. I don't have that today. What I have on my decks today is petroleum jelly. So anyway, whenever you're using your beauty product on your skin, you are going to take a two to three drops, whatever the product require for you to use, and you are going to massage it on the skin. I like to press whatever I'm using on my skin. Once you press it on your skin, then you go back in and you massage your skin. And we were talking about muscles just now. Like your forehead, you have muscles going all the way here. And when it comes on to your cheekbones, it's go on um, like that. And that is the reason why if you're massaging your forehead, it's best to massage your forehead like this way. 
this way um and that way for the mass of muscle here and the mass of muscle there and then you go back in and you pull it up like this so massage your face with your collagen boots in ingredient and this is further gonna help to boot a circulation when you boot circulation meaning the blood is flowing right then it help your skin to look younger for longer if you're just joining us welcome welcome we're talking about collagen today and as I said it is one of my favorite topic to talk about and that might be because I'm at the age where I'm seeing the sign of aging yes I'm seeing the wrinkles I'm the fine lines I'm seeing my you know just everything going on but I am trying my best to be natural and that is the truth to each his own however um if you want to try other thing go ahead never say never i'm not coming on this platform and i'm not telling you that there is never ever a time i would not try botox i would not do a facial lift i would not 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 i am not saying that what i am saying for now i am trying to see how far i could go naturally okay how long can I keep going without thinking that I would want to do anything to my skin? I was offered some Botox recently by my, and it's so funny nowadays, like everybody's doing Botox. Who knew? Do you think that you could go to your dentist and they have for Botox? Like it, it just don't go and in on. But every little um, um, establishment now that offer anything to do with health and beauty and wellness is now offering some form of an, an enhancement to 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 your skin. But you got to know um, know your skin and know what you can do. But I am telling you right now, and this is the truth. If you for um ham start taking care of your skin regardless of your age right now you start to have a straight up skincare routine that you religiously follow you try to use ingredient on your skin that's going to help to enhance the skin however also you try to follow some of the tips that i share with you about taking care of your skin by cleansing and steaming and exfoliating your skin will look younger for longer and that is the truth that is the truth that is the truth your skin will look younger for longer it takes some work and the work is to follow your natural skincare routine we're going to take some questions and then we're going to move on if you have been taking any form of a collagen boots in supplement or using any form of a collagen beauty cream on your skin topically go ahead and comment right now and we're seeing people coming on and coming up but um we are moving on teresa welcome to our live nana perry welcome to the live victoria welcome to the live where are you watching from victoria i noticed you're saying good evening hi maya how are you welcome joy is here also welcome to the live carolyn bauer welcome and this is another new i think carolyn and i've been here before might might not name ring a bell and we have amira who is also here claudia get that thumbs up going jill um went somewhere i think golden i think this is the first time that i you're watching if so comment comment unless you watch before and you change your handle welcome loretta to the live how are you doing loretta who else is here i like to give my subscribers a shout out coca beauty i'm using collagen supplement and janet um, mercer i've done it pass powder supplement so some people are using the powdered supplement and Shanique is also here so if you're new here first time watching us go ahead and comment so we can give you a shout out we have Tachi hello Tashi and we have Asha watching from Kenya we have Sadia I like that name Sadia I we have Sadia also watching and we also have be I'm gonna mess this one up, but I'm gonna try to pronounce it. So it is B Z U E what? Y O W O T what? I think K hey, what? A what? Um, yes. And then we have Somaya. These are some pretty names today. 
watching from South Africa. So um, Nana is also watching from Kenya and Lady E, hello Chichi, who are you Lady E? And the reason why I'm asking who Lady E is, Lady E, and let me highlight Lady E right now. So Lady E um, actually spelled my name right. Lady E is hello Chichi. So, so those of you who are pretty new to my channel, my pet name and the honest truth is only my immediate family that call me Chichi. So when I was growing up, my grandfather thought I was so miserable and there's some little insect, I think, that goes into some wood or something like that, that is Chichi. They call it Chichi. I don't know, but he was like, you're so miserable you're like just a little chichi and ever since that all my family members they call me chichi this is the way it is spelled however when i was trying to make my youtube channel someone already had the c i couldn't get the c so i changed it to a k and that is how my channel name was formed the pronunciation because some people say kichi because of the k and depending on where you're from you know in terms of how you pronounce things some people will say kishi most people say kishi but it is really chichi chi chi but you can also spell chichi also acting up so it just went out and now it's back so something is going on and i think something is going on in my neighborhood or the system there was no internet this morning and now the internet is acting up and i could see it's acting up it came back so um your grandfather thought you were termite yes 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 uh, and 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 it, that is what i was trying to 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 say because and i i no shame in my game my channel name is chichi it did something for me that, that's what i was saying Ter, there are termites that like eat wood out like something like that and i was i'm gonna say maybe i was a miserable kid not in a bad way however i was the miserable kid that could pull up all the books you pack up the books nice i grew up in a family that have a lot of books they pack them up really really nice i would go there and i would try to read all the books not really as a matter of fact they told me i was reading before i could read i used to read the pictures first and i could recite an entire book just by the pictures so i was like obsessed with like books and my grandmother she had this table Yes, guys, we're talking about college and we're going to get back there. So my grandmother, she have a table and she has some nice um, cup and saucer and stuff like that. She like like nice glass, drink, drinking glass and stuff like that. And I would go on it and I would rearrange it. I would like fix it to suit myself. But you know, change. So that is the reason why they think I was like a termite. I was miserable. I would go and just pull things and everything needs to be pulled nice. And I would always be helping out, but not necessarily that they want that help if you get my gist. So they will put things down when they come back it's somewhere else because I think that it should look a certain way like that. As a matter of fact, my cousin Pauline, who is normally on my channel, she told me recently that you're the same. You didn't change. What I used to do, like you, Claudia, you invite me over. I wouldn't do that. I think I kind of grow out of that. I would go to your house. <laughs> I do that to my family member all the time. I have a aunt who normally watches the show. She recently died. And I would just go to her house and I would arrange everything on her vanity. <laughs> like just rearrange everything and fix it to suit myself, how I think it should look. However, they normally appreciate it when I'm done because it normally look good. So that is how I got my name, Chichi. So if you're around me and I have something going on and I invite any of my family member 
over, you'll hear them calling me Chichi, okay? So when I make my channel and people say Chichi, it's, it's okay because I'm so accustomed to that name. So let's move on. If you're new here, Jennifer is here. I have watched your video and follow your instruction for a face religiously. I do have a soft skin with very less wrinkles thanks to you and thanks to you and all you need to do now jennifer is to make sure that you do the facial massages the facial massages really really help along with your beauty product now um and and lady e actually have a cousin with that name so good claudia i'm not the only one who is a termite and um thank you so much for your comment and and lady e is watching from um arizona where are you from originally because what what if it's me i'm your cousin i just look totally different lady e all right so we are moving on some part of nigeria beer okay i'm learning something what did i miss what did i miss beers chichi tell me about this because it seems like i'm missing out something all right so we are moving on if you're just joining we're sharing natural ingredient that you can use to boost collagen production in the skin now let's talk a little bit about vitamin c vitamin c if you are familiar with my channel you would already know a lot about vitamin c and vitamin c is an antioxidant that will have to boost collagen production in the skin you can find vitamin c in a wide variety of natural ingredients you're finding vitamin c in oranges lemon all of the citric citrus fruit you find vitamin c in kiwi you find vitamin c in hapless you find vitamin c in avocado and the same papaya which we talk about um just now and you can also choose to buy vitamin c now you can get vitamin c to buy um the powdered form and the reason why they're making the powdered form is that vitamin c of um the potency of vitamin C tend to decrease like really, really fast. So if you don't um, preserve vitamin C the way it should preserve, when you use it on your skin, you get nothing from it, except if you use a fresh fruit, like you take a kiwi and you apply it on the skin, or you use that, um, that um, papaya that we were talking about directly on the skin, or you use some lemon or some lime. I still have my lime here that I was talking about yesterday on the decks. On the skin, you're gonna get the natural vitamin E, C, and you can actually do that or get the powder. I have the powder here, and I think I made a video once or twice with the powder. Why the powder? The powder, because when you mix it right there and then, you get the full dose of vitamin C. Now let's talk about aloe vera gel. And Kamu Kamu, Kamu Kamu, that's how I pronounce it, Kamu Kamu. I just ordered a new bottle and I'm going to feature it um, on the channel. I tend to have so many different oils that people are like, oh, why so much, why so much? We do talk about the Kamu Kamu um, all the time, you know, and mostly on the live chat, but I promise I will bring it um, for you. And we have someone from Qatar and that is um, Reggie. Qatar airline. Do I pronounce this right? I normally just say Qatar. Is that um, correct pronunciation? Pronunciation Q U A T A R. That's a airline that I would like to fly first class on because, anyway, let's continue talking. No, I don't fly first class. I cannot afford to fly first class. I'm just saying that if I have the fun, I would like, there's two airlines that I would like to fly first class on, and is the, the Qatar airline, and also, um, what's the name of that one that goes to, to Emirates? Emirates. I flew um, Emirates several times before, but never first class. I would really like to fly. Anyway, we are moving on and just so it's the day show and the day show, I normally just go off. So what I was saying um, about um, not fly, flying first class, I don't have the funds to fly first class. And I also feel that if you don't have that kind of funds to fly first class, don't fly first class, especially if you're going on a vacation. Go coach and wherever you're going, get a nice place to stay. 
Spend the money on where you're staying because you first class, you're just sitting there and getting extra food if you're not a food. But anyway, let's move on. We are talking about boots and I almost went off, just went off just now. We're boots and collagen production on the skin topically. Let's talk about aloe vera gel. Aloe vera gel. How many of you use aloe vera gel on your skin? We talked about that yesterday um, also. For my new subscribers, sometimes I forget that I have new subscribers every day. And if you're new here, comment and let me give you a thumbs up. What is collagen, especially for my new subscribers? Collagen is the most abundant protein in the body. Your body have collagen in it, right? It's a form of a protein. And it works on the skin by keeping the skin firm. There's a wide variety, there's a whole, you know, full page of things you could talk about collagen and protein or however for your skin it's what gives the skin the firmness when we age the skin loses that collagen it starts to slow down it starts to produce less and that's how you see the wrinkles and fine lines start popping up on the skin you cannot stop the 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 the, the collagen loss of collagen you can't stop it what well for now you can't stop it don't know what's going to happen the next three, four years from now. But from now, you can stop it. What you can do, you can slow it down. You can help to use topical ingredients to build back that collagen production. You can eat a diet rich in collagen boots and properties to build back that collagen and elastin in the skin. And that is for my new subscribers because sometimes I came on here and I'm just carrying on forgetting that people need to know the base also so if you're an oldies but goodies and you hear me repeating 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 you know that i need to do it and um does anyone have come on come on food where they are okay that's a good question let me i like this let me i like this one um claudia i would really like to know because you would be surprised the kind of things are things that we especially if you live uh you know depending on where you live you have never seen never experienced you, you just like papaya some people might have never ever seen the papaya but they could get the papaya oil where i live there's papaya in all my green grocery stores while some people it's a no-no not to worry however if you have never don't have fresh papaya to use on the skin here's for you guys there is now papaya powder you can get papaya powder you can use that powder mix it in a paste and use it on your skin elaine williams is new welcome to the live where are you watching from elaine i would guess that you're watching from jamaica and why am i guessing that you're watching from jamaica it's just a jamaican name right both your first well not jamaican i would say like well i don't know the origin of elaine but we have so many elaines in jamaica and the fact that you put williams on the end that is another whammy so where are you watching from just surprise me and let me know that not only jamaican have that name but anyway we are moving on tachi is asking about uh, oh canada canada with caribbean parents right <laughs> i'm messing with you um elaine but correct me from wrong all right correct me from wrong all right so i actually have a friend with that well i have several i have a lot of people in my family with that name and i also have a friend real friend um and her name is also elaine and i actually have a youtube friend and her name is also elaine but she's um also um Jamaican. All right, so we are moving on. My main source of collagen, it's papaya. Just love the fruit. So one question we were asking is about the kamu kamu. If you live anywhere that you have the fruit, fruit, fruit. All right. All right. See, I know, I, I know, I know what I'm saying. I know names. I know names a bit, a bit, a bit. I, I, I kind of have a little thing with names. So see what I mean? You are from Jamaica, living in Canada. And um, yes, welcome to the live show. Margaret, Claudia, what is Kamu Kamu compared to? I'm going to say the Kamu Kamu is, although that one goes out for Claudia. Correct me, Claudia. I'm going to say the Kamu Kamu is compared to avocado. Tell me if I'm wrong, Claudia. 
Tell me if I'm wrong. I'm saying it come fair. Maybe to avocado, um, I could be wrong. All right, so we are moving on. If you're just joining, we're here. We're talking about roots in collagen production on the skin. The aloe vera is also a natural ingredient that you can use to boost collagen production in the skin. Now, here, let, here is this joke, guys. And it's really not a joke, but I um, I am Ajax. Okay, this is really not a joke. This is really the truth. Aloe vera, when it comes on to skincare, is everywhere. It's like almost every skincare product that you'd buy out there, you are going to find aloe vera in. And I compare aloe vera to the skincare world as, hi, Marit, how are you? I was to get in touch with you for a while now, which I need to. But anyway, I compare aloe vera in skincare products to soya bean in uh, food products food products okay food products so yesterday how many of you on here eat peanut butter you know you could actually use peanut butter to slug just as though you use petroleum jelly to slug or how you use um coconut oil to slug you could actually use peanut butter to slug i should make a video using the peanut butter to slug why can, how can you use peanut butter slugging you just take that peanut butter out you apply it all over your face and rub it in and that is basically slugging slugging is applying petroleum jelly or something similar to petroleum jelly on your face that have to lock that moisture in the skin you go to sleep with it on your face you wake up you rinse it off and your skin looks so much younger and fresher just imagine you slug with some peanut butter when you wake up in the morning you dip your face in some ice water and rinse it off you are looking 10 years younger now back to what i was saying about soya bean soy is in everything almost almost everything has soy so I took my peanut butter up yesterday. I love eating peanut butter. And just so you know, peanut butter, peanut is rich in protein. Another collagen boots in, in um, nuts that you can actually eat to boost collagen production in the skin. And I would suggest that you can also use it to make a facial mask. Yes, you can use peanut butter to make a facial mask. So I took my peanut butter up, right? And I turned it over. Now I personally like the old school peanut butter a lot of people and true story i have a friend went to do some grocery shopping for me and she brought back peanut butter for me and she brought back the natural peanut butter natural peanut butter and i took the peanut butter up and i look at it and i like this is what you bought and she said yeah because the way you eat this i think this is the one that you like no i like the old school peanut butter i like the jiffy the, the skimpy the whatever you know you know what i mean i just like that taste for peanut butter okay and it is one of my favorite thing to eat if i get stuck on an island for a month and i was to choose one thing that i need to have to make me happy i would choose peanut butter and it's the truth you can eat it with hoppers and you know if i have to go find banana out in the wherever they leave me there to survive and i have the peanut butter i could put the peanut butter on anything all right so back to what i was saying i don't really like the fashion ever peanut butter the one that don't you know they take out all the gmo and this and that i don't i don't to be honest i like the real old time peanut butter i turn my peanut butter bottle over and start to read the ingredient and guess what creep up in the ingredient soya bean oil <laughs> soy is everywhere if you was to come on the show and ask me chi chi is there soya bean oil in peanut butter if you had asked me that yesterday morning I would tell you absolutely no. There's no soy product in peanut butter. Believe it or not, the soy creep up right in there looking at me like, whoa. Another thing that is in there is palm oil. Bear with me now, bear with me. So you have the peanuts, you have the soy oil and our palm oil, and they also have a little bit of, I think, corn syrup or something like that, I think, which a lot of people is against. So when I read the ingredient list, I realized that the peanut butter was a perfect facial mask. 
believe it or not, it is a perfect facial mask. <laughs> have all the amazing oils that you need to boost the collagen production on the skin. I know it takes a long time to get here, but this is it. And I wish I brought that bottle here today to show you. But if you have that peanut butter, the old school peanut butter in your kitchen, go and read the ingredient list and you'll know what I'm talking about. It have everything you need to boost the collagen production in the skin. Not only that, it is rich in protein. Protein is the most abundant collagen. Collagen is the most, is protein and protein is in the peanut and the peanut have soy oil, which have straight up vitamin A, which is really retinol. It also have palm oil that is rich in vitamin E and vitamin C that can help to boost the collagen production in the skin. Now I'm thinking that the peanut um, butter is way better than petroleum jelly. I might need to start using the peanut butter for dry skin also, but if you have it, look at it and you'll know what I am saying. All right, so we are moving on. If you're just joining us, we are oh, similar to a berry grape, comparable to cherry green. All right, so let me put this up, um, Claudia. And this is the Kamu Kamu that we're talking about. I was saying um, avocado. And the reason why I was saying avocado is because of the antioxidants, the, the vitamins that is um, in it. That's the, that's the way I was looking at it, not in the form of like, you know, berries or so. So tell me, Claudia, and you can write it in the, in the comment box. What are the vitamins in the Kamu Kamu oil? Please do. All right. So we are moving on. And if you're just joining, I don't eat a lot of peanut butter. Well, Marriott, if you come to my house and you're looking at a snack, it's going to be peanut butter. All right. We do have like, um, what they call it. Oh, how many of you have ever tried the pistachio butter? The pistachio butter. Some people might not be able to, um, to, to, if you like pistachio, comment. Because that is also another nut that is rich in protein. Now, I went somewhere, and sometimes it seems like I talk a little too much. But anyway, I um, I have some friends that lives in Italy, and they actually sent me, well, they didn't send me that part of basket. Oh, yeah. So I went there, and they actually gave me a basket. And um, they normally send a lot of things. I was trying to remember if it came in the basket or if I got it when I went there. But they did give me the basket with that pistachio butter in it. And I came home and I hate that pistachio butter like it was going out of style. And then I start ordering the pistachio butter. I notice it. it's all around New York for real, but it's also another butter that is so, 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 so good. If you do not eat peanut butter, you can try the pistachio butter. That's where I was going with that um, merit. So if you come to my house, it's going to be peanut butter, pistachio butter, or you're going to find um what that creamy thing name again that um cream cheese but the cream cheese is going to be in the fr fridge until it get old it throw out and then we replace it again um why do we still buy it in case we have a guest or someone that come over that need something so we are moving on and i don't like to eat pistachio and that's what another thing i need to say my niece shanique she loves pistachio like really really loves pistachio she get the big bags and she's eat it if she's visiting that is the only time you'd find me eating pistachio and that is the truth the only i don't know something about when she's eating it and cracking it and all of that and she don't do the on shell the one with the shell cracking it eating it i just like i don't know i just enjoy eating pistachio with her only that time i do i'm not a fan of pistachio but the pistachio butter is so good love it and i also love pistachio flavor ice cream we're moving on if that's a good nut that you can eat to boost collagen production in the skin and never try topically on the skin but i probably will one day if you're just joining we're talking about boosting collagen production in the skin getting your skin to look firmer younger fresher free from wrinkles and fine lines and you know just free from pigmentation on a whole lurbet hello chichi beauty and everyone and here for a brief moment better late than never merit i used to get pistachio for a nickel a bag <laughs> whoa for a nickel a bag with my mom and i know why you said this i know why you said you used to get it for a nickel because it is one of the most expensive nuts 
that you're going to see out there. A little teeny tiny bag of pistachio is like $13, $14. Really expensive. Don't know why. I will post the rest of the Kamu Kamu information in the WhatsApp group. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. Um, Maya, my only nuts are Brazilian nuts and walnut. Now, why are we talking about nuts? Because nuts is rich in protein. And these, even though we're doing topically, you know, sometimes the, stray, the, the show's straight. Brazilian nut and walnut are two of the most healthiest, healthier nuts, I think, along with almond, um, with almond, I think. So I think Maya is just doing the, 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 the better stuff, the better stuff. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think the Brazilian and the walnut, along with the almond nut, are the three better nuts to eat, especially when you're all health conscious. Now, if you're just joining, yeah, very expensive, but I love it. That is from Elaine. And who else is here? Um, Amira, I love pistachio and I use it a lot in my um, desert. So people are using the pistachio. All right, so we are talking about boots and collagen production and Kamu Kamu is grown in the Amazon forest of Peru. And that is where the um, cacao oil is from also in the Amazon forest. So cacao oil and ca we should visit that forest, right? Can you imagine? Well, I'm not the type of person with like those kind of, the anyway, can you imagine the fact that we are so much into skincare and in the Amazon forest, and for those of you who do not know what an Amazon forest is about, it's like almost like a rainforest. It's always damp. You're always going to find like a lot of wildlife living there and it's just birds and all that and a lot of fruit trees and vegetables and not, you know, vegetarian like Kamu Kamu and Kake tree and Probably they even have peanuts in there too. Don't know, but that is kind of that kind of an environment. To find now that they are bringing these kind of amazing oils that you can get out of the, the Amazon forest. Can you imagine that they leave us there for two months? I'm just saying, you know, we pitch a tent and, you know, try to make the spot nice and dry. And we're going to spend the month there just utilizing all of the amazing things on our skin. And when we come, can you, after a month, we'd come out looking like 20 years younger. <laughs> so far-fetched, but, but I, I think maybe Claudia understand what i'm saying good trip to the forest in 2023 no honestly and serious though i would like to and they have so many you know um groups and stuff like that that visit but the month there i i don't know unless we're doing like a tv show where you know we could um we have a group of people staying in the amazon forest um for a month coming out 20 years younger can you imagine we would be like billionaires because people would be coming. All right, so we are moving on. If you are just joining, we're talking about boots and collagen um, on the skin, topically a natural ingredient that we can use to boost the collagen production on the skin. The collagen will help your skin to look smooth. It will help your skin to be free of wrinkles and fine lines. And it also help your skin to look younger and fresher. So ingredients that you can use, we mentioned, the uh, papaya, avocado. Avocado is another favorite ingredient to use to boost collagen on the skin. It is also a very, very popular natural ingredient that is used by a wide millions of people use avocado on their skin. The fresh avocado, just take it up, mash it up, and use it on the skin. Why so many? As a matter of fact, if I make a video today, and I use avocado and I use papaya and, you know, they distribute it right out there and I do a poll. Most people are going to choose avocado because most of them are familiar more with the avocado. But the honest truth is avocado have all the essential vitamins and minerals that your skin need to look younger, fresher, firmer, tighter, clearer, brighter. Okay, it have the very, very, very amazing vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E, omega. And if you're into skincare, you know all of these are what you need for your skin. It have all the electrolytes. Electrolytes have to lock that moisture in the skin. It is easy to make. It's just mash it, blend it, and apply it on the skin. It's also another ingredient that you can add other ingredients to like aloe vera gel green tea, um, 
If you have dry, um, oily skin, you can add a little bit of a uh, cornstarch to it. If you have dry skin, you can also add a little extra avocado oil to it to top it up a bit. It's such a good um, product to use on um, this natural ingredient to use on the skin and not only that most people can use avocado on the skin I am yet to come across one person that use avocado on their skin and say it cause any form of an irritation so it's really really good to boost collagen on the skin however avocado we use it for the facial mask okay the fresh avocado you make a facial mask with it you can also make a facial scrub with the avocado by just adding some blended rice which is my favorite avocado and blended rice or you can add some brown sugar or if you don't have brown sugar you have white sugar you can add it you can also choose to add a little bit of a blended almond to it and kick it up a notch use it to exfoliate the skin you can add yogurt to the avocado to make a facial mask you're gonna get the lactic acid from the yogurt and lactic acid have to clear um, and to get rid of dead skin cells on the surface of the skin the lactic acid in the yogurt also have to clean those pores out and also have to boost collagen in the skin so avocado should be your go-to it should be something that you definitely try to use on the skin and someone I think it was Margaret was saying that she don't really use a lot of avocado on her skin because she like it so much and she just want to eat it all up all you need is a little slice of that avocado on your skin a little slice just a little sliver of it just spear cut off the little top if you cut your avocado this is the way I personally sometimes cut my avocado like I would cut off that little top in that little top just cut it a little lower and just scrape out what is in that little top and make your facial mask with it now you also have the avocado oil and the avocado oil is what is rich in all the essential um, vitamins that can help to boost the collagen production in the skin so you're going to use the fresh avocado for the facial mask and you're going to use the avocado oil as a lever you can use avocado oil on your skin directly one to two drops of that avocado oil rub it in your hands put your toner on and apply it on the skin you can use the avocado oil on top of your facial moisturizer or when you buy your moisturizer out there just drop one to two drops of the avocado oil in that moisturizer and use it on the skin how to boost the collagen production it is loaded as Jason said loaded with all the good fats and all the omega-3 and it also it is good for the year yeah years ago I used to make this avocado here mask I used to whip it up I used to put some castor oil in it go on the steam cap and sit with it on my hair for a while and then rinse it off really really good for not only your skin but also your hair if you're just joining us warm welcome to you and if I'm supposed to be walking right now dim, dim, dim. if you're just joining us a warm welcome to you if you're new here definitely go ahead and comment so we can give you your shout out and if you're new to collagen comment ask a question and we'll answer it for you boots in collagen production on the skin topically ways to use collagen on your skin topically now another ingredient someone was asking what about the oils the oils that are rich in all right nowadays if you should go out there and you should google the best oil for boots in collagen production in the skin topically I am assuming that you're gonna see the bakuchi oil, oil just floating around on the top you're also gonna see the cake oil you're gonna see the kamu kamu that um, Claudia was talking about you're also gonna see the um, the rose seed oil those are some of the oils that you're going to see out there for boots in but the top of the list now is the bakuchiel oil and the reason for that is now they're calling that the new retinol anything that is new anything that is trending you're going to see it everywhere but those are some of the better oils to use to boots collagen production on the skin when you're using oils on your skin for boots in collagen it's the last thing that you're going to apply on the skin at night however in the daytime the last thing that you're going to apply on your skin is a sunscreen if it's not already in your moisturizer when you're using oils on the skin i especially when you're using the oils to boots collagen 
I suggest that you warm the oils, okay? Always warm your oil. I know the skin is already warm, but when you apply that warm oil on your skin, it actually penetrates that epidermis even faster. Not all oils, however, penetrate the epidermis, but the avocado oil is one oil that will do just that if you're new here welcome we're sharing tips hi razabir how are you tasha is here um even frown line and what to use let's answer tasha question oh so so uh amira is going to the to peru this year is that what you're saying amira you're going to Peru. I'm going somewhere this year, but I'm not going to say where I'm going um, as yet. Don't want to get you all say, oh, can I come? Can I come? But I think I'm going somewhere very, very excited in the next month or so, two months or so. Yeah. And I'm definitely, every time I go somewhere, I'm like, oh, I'm going to share, I'm going to share, but I, 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 I will share this one, but I'm going somewhere very, very well, fingers crossed and everything is good. And we don't go back into lockdown and all that kind of stuff. All right. So we are, I wish I could come to Peru with you somewhere. I really want to go Claudia. So we probably could, um, talk about it off here 2023 yes no joke serious business all right so um jason okay i just read that can you get us up to 100 likes if you're just watching and you didn't give us a like now is the time to give us a like guys so how do you give us a like you look below something is on my face i'm trying to get out you look below you're gonna see the thumbs up like that click on that one click on that one and let us go to 100 likes why are we asking for likes we're asking for likes because that is what the system used to show us to other people who are not watching us while the live is going on most people watch after the show is over but if there's not enough likes the system don't really spread it so come ahead guys come on we have so about 82 people still watching give us a like before you um hung up so someone want to know even out frown line. Let me tell you something. Get your fingers like this. And I share this all the time. The reason why I know how to do this really well, because I get this um, beauty device that have to do this. And this is just how they use the device. They, um, the frown line is right here. You put your two finger here, you go up and you go like this. And you do that facial massage daily. Daily, for you probably do about 25 um, reps. And guess what? And you also use products that are rich in vitamin A that is good for wrinkles and fine lines on the skin. So that is that for your body, do a good body scrub. I have a good um, coffee scrub that is mixed with lemon peel and orange zest. It's really a good body scrub. Use that to exfoliate your body. And then you can do our oil blend. You can mix avocado oil with any of the special oil with a little bit of a rose seed oil. And you can use that to massage your entire body, especially when your body is damp just stepping out of the shower. Someone else was asking about um, patchouli um, oil. I actually, I probably, I, I have it. I don't know why I don't feature. Okay, let me tell you the truth about um the 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 patchouli oil, patchouli oil. I love love the fragrant. When I buy beauty products with patchouli, I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. However, I went and I bought the oil, thinking. Uh, that I was going to get the same fragrant from it. No, you don't. You don't get that same fragrant from it. And Jason is saying that it smelled good. Unless something is wrong with the one I got. But I didn't get this fragrant that I was expecting. Another oil that you could get tricked like that with is the Hallman oil. Because some people buy the almond oil thinking it's gonna have that almond fragrance. But natural almond, it's two different kinds of almond, and we'll get into that. They are enhanced with essence to give you that fragrance. So when you go out there, like you get the patchouli shower gel and you have that nice, pretty fragrance that I like, when I get the oil, it didn't have that smell. If you know what I'm talking about, comment. Anyone have, have that experience? Comment. JC is saying it smelled good. Are you smelling the oil oil, the enhanced oil, or are you smelling 
the plain one, let me know because mine didn't give me what I want and I just kind of toss it. I think I was disappointed. And so let me hear from you. And Jill, I think is Jill talking about it. Tell me about the fragrant Jill so that I could know where I went wrong with the one that I bought. And I actually bought a big bottle. All right, so the thumbs up is below the video. You can, okay, so look for the thumbs up below the video, guys, and give us, um, oh, really, really no, all right. All right, so we are moving on and we are talking about collagen. Now I'm reaching out to some of my subscribers, especially are my watchers who are new to the channel, new to our live. And guess what, guys? If you are new, we want you to comment so we could give you a shout out. If you are new and you're not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Before I forget, we're looking for some people to do our ice water on Sunday. Sunday, we want to make Sunday show fun. We're on every Sunday at 4.30 p.m. We're looking for a few more people that I smell the fragrance. You're right. The real oil is really strong, but not too. All right. See what I mean? Let me hear from you, Jill. Let me hear about the oil. All right. So we're looking for a few people to be on on Sunday to do our ice water challenge with us. What is this ice water challenge about? We have a thing that we tend to practice on this channel where when you get up in the morning, if you dunk your face in ice water, it makes your skin look healthier. It has to boost the collagen in your skin. And we have a kind of an ice water um, challenge where we challenge each other to see how long we could keep our face in that ice water. We have three people so far. We're looking for at least two more. If you want to be on the live on Sunday, send us an email to chichibeauty at gmail.com that's the only way you can get on you have to send for the link and the link is um chichibeauty at gmail.com send for that link so that we could get you on the live now um let me see who is commenting and who's terry um, ter um tasha um subscribe today so you oh i subscribe already welcome to subscribe we're looking for 19 more thumbs up if you're just watching give us 19 more thumbs up this is a good question which oil replaced the cucumber seed oil we're saying nothing replaces cucumber seed oil but if i use cucumber seed oil and you don't have it use some grapeseed oil it's light it's very similar and you're gonna get basically the same result as using the cucumber seed oil now who else have a question if you're new here go ahead and comment hi Roxanne welcome to our live okay so lavender oil now I don't use lavender oil on my face I like to use lavender oil on my body it is one of my favorite um, fragrance for my body products anything lavender is good and i also like eucalyptus and spearmint those two i could use my shower you could all surround my house with lavender or eucalyptus and spearmint my go to my top of the top of the top of the top so lavender oil as i said i like to use it on my body you use it lavender oil the lavender essential oil use it you know in your scrub like when i make a body scrub if i'm looking for a fragrance i would use the lavender oil and if i'm like taking a soak i would use the lavender oil but i don't really use the lavender oil on my face i also use the lavender water and if you're new to my channel, you might not know, but I talk about the lavender water all the time. Just like rose water, you can use, as a matter of fact, I'm just thinking, I used to use the lavender water on my channel years ago. Years ago, I used to use the lavender water just like the rose water. And I used to recommend that if you don't have the rose water and you have, and you use the lavender, and you have the lavender water, you use it. Lavender water is pretty easy to make. Nowadays, you can find the edible lavender and sell the dry ones. You can take it, take it home, boil, uh, put some pot of water on the fire, pour so a few tablespoons, cover it, let it simmer, let it sit overnight, strain it off, and you get the lavender water. I know this that too with patchouli oil, chichi. Okay, the fragrance, I was right. I was very right, 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 right. So grapeseed oil, uh, Merit love the grapeseed oil. Now, what other question you have for me? I can't believe the time is up already. 
time is up already so if you're just joining, let's get 19 more thumbs up if you're just joining we're talking about boots in collagen and natural ingredients that you can use to boost collagen production in the skin we talk about papaya seed or we talk about papaya we talk about avocado we talk about aloe vera gel we talk about a few oils that you can use on the skin like cacao oil rose seed oil and we also didn't get a chance to dive further into other ingredients that you can do both as you can eat it and you can also use it topically on the skin but since it oh we talk about vitamin c also we talk about um um camu, camu oil a lot it's a it's a good oil that you can use to boost collagen production in the skin is there an exercise for lip wrinkle um yes they actually not only an exercise they um what a suction and i think i have this thing here and i don't know i never bring it on i always say oh i should share this and i didn't but you there's a suction thing that you can put your lips in and it can help to reduce the lip wrinkle but i normally just tell people to just massage it like that because most people just have upper lip wrinkle and not the lip itself if you find your lip here wrinkle the lip 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 you need to put something on it that's going to lock the moisture exfoliate the lips and put some petroleum jelly or some coconut oil or some camu camu oil on it but if not you just massage it like this massage and when you're doing your face you do that massage and then you go back and you do the lip sign me up for ice water challenge that is for amenia i think i already have amenia there i have amenia i have claudia and um who else want to be on the ice water challenge send to chichibu and claudia has challenged me to find um to find um just great cecilia which i'm hoping that um we could um find cecilia to come back on the challenge also all right guys so that is my time today what about what okay let me see who's asking about um Chichi, what's your opinion about naira skincare laser all right so oh coca beauty hi coca beauty thanks uh for watching now i shared the naira on my channel um recently and i'm gonna be honest with you just as i talk about it off here and on on here i actually love it i actually love it i actually love it and it is really really good for the as a matter of fact i do so many device on this channel because we do get a lot of prom promotion for promoting these devices and you all know that when i get them as sometimes they don't like because i tend to just throw them down or wait until i'm satisfied that i like it but the naira is one and this is not a sponsored video guys i did a video on naira and someone is asking about it i don't have the naira right here normally i have these things on my decks or right under my decks the naira is not here because the naira is in the bathroom why is the naira in the bathroom because i have been using it okay you know i do other devices which we won't say right here right now but the naira is amazing okay it's amazing i don't i know that price point is a little on the pricier side however if you can get your hands on that naira and i promise you all that i'm gonna do another show with the beauty tools i know you always want me to bring the beauty tools on but i promise you i'm going to do another show with the beauty tools i'm going to bring them and i'm going to do a three minute demonstration for you all so that you can you know see how some of these devices work the naira is amazing for the under eyes remember how i normally share with you guys that you can um, massage your under eyes to to, to, to boot circulation and you can do all of that. Daba, 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 daba. The Naira laser do just that for you. If you have not seen that video, go on my channel page and look for that video. I think we post it maybe just about a week or so ago. You can check it out. But as I said, I promise you all, I will bring the devices on and I will talk about it on the channel for you. But I do love honestly love it and this is one place if i didn't like it i would be like oh god you know i gotta support me but i didn't yeah but i like it and i'm using it as a matter of fact someone else in my also also like it so it's a rat race to get the naira i might have to get a, a second um device because sometimes i don't like to share my things it's not that i'm selfish 
how many of you grew up? The show is over, guys, so this is our chit-chat time. But if you're just joining, we're talking about collagen production, boots in collagen, topically on the skin. Now, let me ask you a question. How many of you are kind of selfish with your personal things? Um, I was told that I'm selfish with my personal things, but I'm not selfish with my personal thing. The thing is, from I was a child growing up, we normally get our own things. So in our household, we don't share soap. And that is the truth. We don't share soap. We normally get our own soap, right? We get our own deodorant. We get our own lotion. However, there's a time cap and all of that. So if you like to waste your lotion, you get a lotion this month to last you a month or two because we normally get the jumbo. For those of my father, he normally go is a farm worker and he normally like shop for the big stuff that it would last us a while. So if we get like the jumbo, Vaseline, you know, the lotion, I have not seen that in years, but I grew up like using that and the Jergens body lotion, big old bottle, and you get it. And if it's, they said for last for three months, you make sure yours lasts it for three months, all right? But you get your own. So I kind of have the tendency where I don't like to share. I prefer to give you one. So like you don't come and just use up my lotion or you just don't come and take up my, like my Naira and you just use it. I don't like that. I, Not me. I would buy you one though. If you come, you don't have a lotion, I get you a lotion, but don't use my things. Sorry, they say I'm selfish when it comes on to that. But it's not really that, I'm, as I said. Anyway, we are moving on. Let's get this video to 100 likes because our time is up. Now, Marla, I don't like no one to touch my stuff. Thank you. I have company. I like that. I like that. Um, um, I'm not pigment remedy, please. Pigmentation remedy. All right, let me give you a really, really quick and a really, really good hyperpigmentation remedy. Get yourself a potato irish potato white potato whatever you call it wherever you live you're gonna grate that potato when you grate that potato you're gonna squeeze it all you're using is the juice of the potato now once you juice that potato get some turmeric powder now they have the white which we feature on the channel someone commented um, today on another page and they were saying the white is good and i find it to be just as good as the yellow but the most common one is the yellow but you're gonna get a dash not a whole teaspoon of turmeric powder that should dash a turmeric powder to about two tablespoons of that potato juice you mix it up mix it up like that really mix it up and then use that to wash your face or if it's just spots here and spot there get a q-tip dip it in and circle it on it and leave it on overnight if you can and i'm um, trying to join membership unfortunately i'm asking me to input zip code i need help uh, to join if you're what where are you watching from let us know where you're watching from coco beauty so that we could um help you with um the the zip code if you live somewhere where you don't have a zip code you leave it you leave that part blank and just move on okay all right so um and the zip code would be, let's say if you're, let's say you're Jamaica, you put double I, West Indies, that's what you would put in there. Um, what other country have one of those? Like Dominica, like, you know, that is what you'd put in it. But um, where are you watching from is um, first and foremost. Teresa, I found hyperpigmentation video i found a presentation video with the potato starch before i came to your live i'm about to try it this weekend definitely definitely now guys if you're looking for videos you don't know where to find them the easiest way to find the videos is to go on my channel page when you go on youtube you just start go in the search and you put in chichi beauty click on my face and then it's going to take you to the channel page once it take you to the channel page then you're going to see some playlists or you can just scroll, scroll through videos and you will find a wide variety of remedies that you can help your skin you're watching from an holiday in satin island and what address are you trying to use if you're um using a satin island address just google wherever you are google your address where you're staying and the zip code would come up okay the zip code would come up whatever wherever you are put your address into google and the zip code will come up and that's how you find the zip code if you're trying to use your 
um, your home address, which it might not be in America or whatever, where the zip code is, you just leave it out. All right. All right. So that is my time today. And uh, you're pretty close to me. I could just jump in my car right now and just drive over to Staten Island. Half an hour, I'm there. Jennifer, I feel annoyed when you trouble my things. By the way, I grew up alone. And that is what they were telling me. That is because they actually raised us like that where we have our own things. You don't want people to touch your thing because you're not used to people touching your thing. So it's not necessarily that you're mean. It's just that, especially my beauty products. I, mm, mm, these are mine. You know, <laughs> I take so much pride, even in my little oil. Don't, don't be wasting my oil like that, even though the bottle is a jumbo bottle. Like, no, 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 no. All right, so we are moving on. We need five more likes, and then we're gonna go five more people. We're asking to give us a thumbs up. And if you're just joining, what did you miss? We talk about boots and please tell me something for skin tightening, massaging, um, potato starch, egg white cornstarch um, um remedies rice remedies rice facial mask rice facial cream potato facial mask potato facial cream um um egg white cornstarch all of those recipes that have those ingredients along with massaging your skin will help to lift tighten and firm the skin those are good we're trying to have another show another live show where we are asking you all to come with a facial mask we did with that one before and we're going to try to do it again that is also fun one day we're going to have and this time we're going to look for about 10 of you to come on with your own facial mask that you make from my channel page you're going to make sure that we know which one you're going to feature and then as a matter of fact we'll get, get the link to the video so when people watch you apply it then they could actually just go straight to the video. So if you want to be a part of that also, um, send your information to chichibeauty at gmail.com. It would be really, really nice to see some of you come in with your facial mask. And it would be really nice to see which mask you're going to make. So we're looking for about 10 people to do a live show with us applying facial mask on their skin. If you want to be a part of that one, which is pretty easy to do, more than the ice challenge, then send to Chichi Beauty at Gmail. What I'm trying to do, especially the Sunday show, is to have more of you taking part on the sunday show okay so we have people watching but we want some of you to be on the show and everything is virtual these days so it's pretty easy for you to be at your house click on the link and you're on the show with us so we are trying to do that so sign up sign up sign up and even if you don't want to do the facial mask we have other things coming so sign up to be on our live show chichibeauty at gmail.com it's normally very very fun to be on the live show you want to be on the live show put in of your subject live show send your email to chichibeauty.com can you make your own mask yes you can which one you're talking about the sheet mask if it's the sheet mask you're talking about yes i use the paper towel to make that one the double ply you split it in two and then you just bore the two holes in it and put it on and do it like that. I think you're talking about the um, the sheet mask. Um, come join us, bring your own facial mask. It's really fun, right guys? So sign up for it, bring your own facial mask. That is gonna be a fun show. Sign up at chichibeauty at gmail.com. Now, thank you all for getting us to 100 thumbs up. I'm assuming that we get the five. And if you didn't give us a thumbs up, go ahead and give us a thumbs up right now. The show is over. Let me know. I cannot see from where I am. If you're watching from Facebook, give us a little heart emoji. Just show some love. And quick thing, guys, go over our Facebook page and like our Facebook page. Right now, I think we have something like 13,000 likes on the Facebook page. We have something like 17,000 followers on the Facebook page. We're trying to grow the Facebook page, and now we're posting on the Facebook page again. However, I think that the like overrides the follow on Facebook. So if you follow us, also remember to like the page because we have about 5,000 
following but didn't like so both those and then on on facebook so like the facebook page and also follow the facebook page if you want to show off yourself using any one of our remedies take a picture go on our facebook chichi beauty club and post that pictures thank you for 100 thumbs up we're gonna be on on friday friday at 2 p.m no 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 we're gonna be on on friday at 7 p.m friday evening and we're gonna be back here live on sunday at 4 30 p.m thank you so much for watching go and watch the videos that you didn't watch continue to support us if you want to be a member don't forget to click on that join button if you're having issues just send us an email and if you're not yet subscribed subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching thank you claudia thanks for everyone that came on even without the notification we love you all and share this video on your facebook page as soon as the show is over be good to yourself love yourself and we'll see you soon on friday we're also having the zoom we're actually going to send out the link to the zoom right now as soon as this is done i'm sending out the link have a good evening guys and i'll see you